Welcome to this tutorial on High Performance Liquid Chromatography, or HPLC. In this video, we will be discussing the different types of columns used in HPLC, their features, and how they can improve your results. HPLC is a form of chromatography used to separate mixtures to identify and quantify different components. The quality of the results will depend on the type of column used in the process. 1. Reverse Phase Columns the reverse phase column is the most basic of all the HPLC column types. It is used in separations that are based on the hydrophobicity of the molecules. The stationary phase in these columns is nonpolar, and the mobile phase is polar. The molecules of the samples retained by the stationary phase repel the mobile phase. One of the benefits of reverse phase columns is that they are versatile, meaning they can be used with most chemical compounds, However, they may not be the best option for separating all compounds. They are best used for hydrophobic compounds. 2. Normal phase columns The normal phase column is the opposite of the reverse phase column. It is used in separations that are based on the polarity of the molecules. The stationary phase is polar this time, while the mobile phase is nonpolar. The polar functional groups in the analytes interact with the stationary phase. This type of column is best utilized for separating compounds that are polar in nature. The benefit of using normal phase columns is their ability to effectively separate polar molecules such as sugars and organic acids. 3. Ion Exchange Columns Ion exchange columns are used for the separation of ions based on their charges. The stationary phase contains functional groups that are charged oppositely to the ions in question. The mobile phase is chosen to be either acidic or basic to alter the charge on the ions. Ion exchange columns are best suited for the separation of inorganic ions. They may also be utilized for the separation of amino acids and peptides, but they may not be the best option for larger proteins. 4. Size Exclusion Columns Size exclusion columns are used for the separation of polymers, colloids, and other macromolecules. They have a porous stationary phase that separates the molecules based on their size exclusion. Large molecules are retained while smaller molecules can penetrate the stationary phase. The disadvantage of size exclusion columns is that they have a lower resolution, meaning they are not very effective in separating chemically similar molecules with different sizes. In conclusion, having knowledge about different types of columns used in HPLC is essential in producing reliable analytical results. Based on the analyte of interest, you should choose the appropriate column type. If you need help finding the right column for your HPLC system, contact us at UHPLCs. Our team of experts specializes in HPLC hardware column OEM manufacturing, and can provide you with professional ideas and HPLC column products for your HPLC system. As you now know from this video, reverse phase columns are best utilized for hydrophobic compounds, while normal phase columns are best utilized for polar compounds. Ion exchange columns are best utilized for the separation of inorganic ions, amino acids, and peptides. Lastly, size exclusion columns are best utilized for the separation of macromolecules. With this knowledge, you can optimize your HPLC system to produce reliable analytical results. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to follow us if you found this helpful for your HPLC work.